Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm Lededrick, and in this video, I want to give you 10 gift ideas for the photographer that's in your life. Let's go ahead and get started. Gift idea number one. Now these gifts are not in any particular order, and what you choose is totally up to you. The first gift I would recommend would be an SD memory card. A memory card is what most cameras would record their images to. They come into different sizes, such as the 32, 64, 128 gigabytes. Um, B&H sells these, and they sell from anywhere from just up under $14 on up. But gift idea number one, an SD memory card. Gift idea number two. Again, these are in no particular order, but here we go. Uh, On-camera flash. I would recommend something like a Young Nuo or a um, Godox. Um, my first choice would be Godox. Although this is a Young Nuo, this is what I brought when um, I first started with off um, camera flash. Do I have any regrets for it? No. The reason I suggest um, the Godox at this point is because Godox has a system that if they continue to take pictures, they can use this flash along with other accessories together as they're building their set. So the Godox, um, I'm sorry, the Godox flash that I would recommend would be the TT600. Actually, yeah, this is TT600. That goes for about 70 bucks on B&H. Now, I'm not affiliated with B&H. Um, hopefully I will be in the future sometime, but um, at the moment I do not get paid from B&H. I am not, um, uh, affiliate marketing with B&H or I have no association with B&H so it's just a company that I use um, myself. The good thing about these flashes is that they're not expensive so you can get multiple flashes and you can explore different types of photography, different types of lighting. Say for instance you want to light uh, some scene outside. You can use multiple flashes and control them with something like a trigger. Now this trigger goes for about 70 bucks on B&H website. I have all these items in a link below um, of this video. Like I said, you can use multiple flashes, multiple lights, uh, well, multiple flashes and strobes with the same brand of lights. It's nothing against Young Nuo. I have several of these. I still use them because I have a controller for this one also. But when I change from camera systems, I have more flexibility with the Godox than I did with the Young Nuo. So I'm giving you this advice off of my experience of what I've learned so that you don't have to have the same financial woes that I've had with some of this equipment. The third item I would recommend would be a lightweight light stand. These light stands can be had for about $55. Again, on B&H website, um, they can extend up to about eight feet or so, which is plenty of height for a lot of different types of photography. Now, it will not cover everything, but it'll give you a lot of options. This light stand as big as it is, can be had from B&H for about, like I said, about $55. Gift idea number four. A shoot through umbrella. Woo. I'm over here like Gene Altry, no, Gene Kelly or Usher, singing in the rain. Anyway, with this, if they have a light, they can mount their light. And shoot the light through the umbrella. Once the light hit the umbrella, it makes the light larger, which also softens the light. This umbrella can be had for about $13, $14, again, from B&H website. Link down below. So the next gift, I don't want to call it gift number five because really I would suggest it along with, say, gift number three or and four or three or four. And that would be 
a speed light bracket. Now this bracket can hold either as the name suggests the speed light it has a Boeing mount that will accept a soft box of the photographer's desired shape as well as or the umbrella and again this would sit on top of the soft box now I think I may be out of frame so I'll back up just a little bit this would make a great solution for lighting a group of people gift number five suggestion an external hard drive this one I've had for a while the one I would suggest would be something similar to SanDisk um, one terabyte which it could be a little pricey um, it's about hundred and forty dollars but that's one terabyte which will hold a lot of images that um, your photographer that's in your life would really appreciate gift number six now since I'm using it I can't show it but gift number six would be a tripod with a ball head on it the, um, the recommendation that I would give would probably be the not probably would be the Gitko, am I pronouncing that name right? Mm. Gikoto AT24 Pro. Now this tripod extends up to 77 inches, which if they want to take a picture of a person, that should cover <laughs> most people height. This tripod goes for just up under $90. This tripod also comes with a ball head. The ball head will allow the camera to tilt angle a lot quicker and it's the difference between the tripod head that a camera would use versus a camcorder well it's a difference between the ball head that a photographer would use as opposed to a videographer the videographer would want their ball head to have a liquid a, a fluid movement to it whereas the photographer would want it to move smoothly you know quickly where they can go ahead and grab the shot now the next gift idea which would be an off-camera strobe now out of the list this is probably the most expensive item that I'm going to suggest this particular strobe is really nice I like it it's the Godox 8200 it comes with a finel head as well as a bare bulb that you can have installed on there let's see This will mount into here. You would slide this down, slide it off, and boom, you have your head. Now, again, this strobe works very well with their um, trigger. And the good thing about it is. You have a range, you can add multiple groups as well as have multiple strobes on the same group. I love it. And the photographer in your life will really enjoy taking pictures, exploring and learning with this quality of a off camera flash. Again, this flash is about $350. Again, on the BNH website, link below this strobe comes with a charger which has about a four foot cable to it which prior to using you would just charge just plop this in plug your cable in and plug it into an outlet of, of a 110 wall as well as bracket for a um, light stand now for disclosure I have not used this light stand well this bracket but um, I see nothing wrong with it for what I need the light for or I, I use the light for I typically just use the bracket so gift number seven would be a tether cable now tether cable is a cable that allows you to as the name suggests tether your camera to your computer while you're taking pictures so that way 
they don't have to struggle to look at the back of the monitor to um, see what the picture look like. They have a larger monitor. Like I've heard, everything and everybody looks, you know, very good on a little small screen. But the larger the screen, you get to see more of the details. You can. It would probably be best if you were to purchase the tether cable from actually from tetheretool.com. Um, that way, all you need to know is the brand of camera as well as the model and the computer that they're putting it in as far as if they have a USB or if it's a lightning input. Okay, moving on. The next gift idea would be a five in one reflector. These can be had for about 40 bucks from, you guessed it, B&H. The reflector is a cooler item whereas if you're taking pictures wherever with say flash or in natural lighting, and you want to open up some of the shadow parts of say for, for instance a person's face or um, of an object or whatever what you would do is take the reflector catch the light and boom it'll open up some of the shadow points it's five and one because you have silver you have black if I can find the end of it and open it, if you reverse it, you'll have gold, you'll have white, or you can use it as a shoot through for your um, strobe or light, which softens light. So if you're taking pictures outside, Someone else can hold this for them between the sun and the subject and it actually soften the light up. Next, I think that's nine. Is it nine? Oh. I'll see when I start editing this. So you're guaranteed to have 10 items, okay? Next is an item I didn't bring with me, but it is a parabolic softbox. What I'm showing you is the Godox P120 parabolic softbox and it's 47.1 inches. B&H right now is selling it for about $149. This softbox can be used with a strobe, flash, or even a constant light. And what it will do is it will take that light which is typically a small head and make it bigger. In doing so it makes it softer also which will make for beautiful portraits. Oh, any of these gift ideas will really give you browning points with the photographer that's in your life. Now, the last item, be it number 10 or bonus, I'm not sure yet, okay, would be the Godox Portable Tent. This tent sells for about $30 from B&H, and it allow you to take someone out, say for instance, to a park, and they want to change or something, and there's not a restroom that they can use, you can use this pop-up tent. This pop-up tent will pop up, and it's about seven feet tall, seven, eight feet tall. It's open on the top, but what happens is they can step in there and do a quick change and come out, and you can finish up your shoot with the, um, with the change of clothes. Now, having said that, it would behoove you to know what your laws are and what the jur local jurisdiction will and will not allow you to do in your area. So please don't hold me responsible for any misunderstanding that you may or may not have with your local jurisdiction. Um, these are just gift ideas, okay? Again, you're responsible for it. Now, the final gift idea is a cleaning kit. A cleaning kit which will allow you to, to clean the sensor and the lens. So as you take your camera out, you will have dust to accumulate on the lens and sometime even on the sensor and the sensor will have to be cleaned. But initially, um, I think a lot of people end up just cleaning the, um, the mirror um, the lens first until they get comfortable with cleaning the sensor um, or until they have a problem. They start seeing specs on their pictures that's not on their lens and they deduce, hey, it's on the sensor. So it comes with a fluid. It comes with a brush which has two ends and also it comes with not only a dust cloth 
it comes with this rocket blower. This rocket blower blows air strong enough to knock little dust and debris off of the sensor as well as off of your lens. So this would be your first line of defense, followed by the liquid and your rat. These are my top 10 gift ideas for the photographer in your life. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like subscribe button below and you can be notified of the next video that I upload. God bless. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe, uh, okay, <laughs> try again.